Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Proverbs is a book about wisdom, about living skillfully or skillful living. And skillful living means living out the principles of God's word. And as we know, it all begins with the fear of the Lord in chapter 1, verse 7. But our verse reminds us of something we dare not ever forget. It's very simple, straightforward. The verses want to speak to the desire for wisdom. You search for her as silver, you have diligence and you have determination, but it is not the determination and diligence that makes us wise. It's what the determination helps us to discover that makes us wise. We do not make ourselves wise. The Lord gives wisdom to the one who diligently is seeking for it. The Lord gives wisdom not to just anyone, but for the one who's seeking for it, not just curious about it. The principle of Proverbs, and really throughout Scripture, is the Lord wants to teach us and instruct us about life. Even before Adam and Eve sinned, He taught them about life. Because we were not created to figure it out on our own. We need the wisdom of God to teach us about life. But the Lord wants us to give us wisdom that can, so that we can live lives that bring glory to Him and are a blessing to others. The Lord gives wisdom to keep us from the many dangers and snares that life in this world is filled with. And as you read Proverbs, you are reading the Word of God. This is God's wisdom, and we ignore it to our own peril and heartbreak. Do you believe God is good? That God is a good God who loves His children, who knows what's best for His children? God gives wisdom because God is perfectly wise. It's one of His attributes. God is a God who is all-wise. Psalm 19.7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul, the soul. The testimony of the Lord, sure, making wise the simple. Psalm 119.98, Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever mine. The Lord never sends us down a wrong road. He never steers us in the wrong direction. He never gives us wisdom that makes us second-guess our choices. His, he never gives us wisdom that will destroy our marriage and our family. When he gives us wisdom, it is always for our good, for our protection, for our success, that our soul may prosper, that our joy may be full, and that he might be glorified. But the centuries-old lie of the evil one has always been to question the goodness of God, the wisdom of God. Satan loves to portray God as a killjoy, that this wisdom is ancient and outdated. It is because he's holding back things that will make us happy. There are many people in the church who would affirm with their lips that they believe in the goodness of God and that He is a wise God. Yet they betray what their lips affirm by the way they live with their lives. Young people filled with hope and excited to serve the Lord leave their homes to go to college or start befriending the wrong people and start to make unwise choices. Choices the book of Proverbs would warn against and does warn against only to find in time that this promise of happiness given by the evil one has a very bitter and long-lasting aftertaste. They get caught up in the snare and the trap of sin, and hope and excitement is replaced by guilt, despair, and disillusionment. And all of a sudden, life no longer seems to be worth living. It happens all the time. Is it happening to you? Do you think you know more than God? you think you can control sin? You can't. When we sin, we become the slaves of sin, and it controls us. There's a law of unintended consequences that's that's real in every sin that we commit. There is a way back, but it doesn't always erase the consequences. We come back through 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There's repentance, but that doesn't always erase the consequences of our sin. God knows where choices lead down the road. We don't. We just think we do. The Lord gives wisdom. It is found in Jesus Christ in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians says. So basically what this verse reminds us is that theology matters. What you believe about God matters in a very practical way. What do you believe about the God who gives wisdom, who wants to teach you how to live your life and make wise choices so you can live skillfully to His glory? in the good of others. Do you believe he's good? Do you believe his way is perfect? Do you believe he's a God who is faithful? 
that he's a friend to those who keep his word, that he watches out for them and guards them? Do you believe, do you believe his way is better? Our world is lost, blind, without hope, without power, and without God, ultimately. This world has nothing but heartache and despair for those who listen to it and follow its supposed wisdom. Who has your ear? If you want to figure out this world in your life, trust and believe the one who created them both. The Lord gives true wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. A very simple yet a very profound truth that really exposes what we believe about God. What do you believe about God? There's no more important question you'll ever answer in your life than that one. May this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.